In this video, we are going to discuss how much time should a class 9th or a class 10th student, basically someone who is not yet in class 11th and he is preparing or he, she is preparing for their joint entrance exam or for any competitive exam. But the syllabus ke beyond aap kisi prakar hi padhai kar rahe ho, especially if you are considering J. How much time should you dedicate to your studies? Okay, how much time should you be giving to your extra studies apart from your school? Okay, that is what you are going to study. So if you are new and if you are a serious J aspirant, do consider subscribing and pressing the notifications. And we also have a J Foundation course just for you, and it's at an uh, it's available at a discount till 13th of June. So the link 13th of June, not June. Okay, so link of that is in description. Uh, you can go there and get the Acad Boost app or the Acad Boost website and get it. It is one of the best things you can do in your class 9th and 10th because this has covered your 9th, 10th as well as all Olympiads as well as your early J prep as well. Some of the concepts of 11th and 12th will also be covered so that you have a smooth transition from class 10th to 11th and you can have some flavor of a J preparation even in your class 9th, 10th itself. Okay, so do get it using the description. Tomorrow is the last day. So, how much time should you give to your J prep? So, the first rule which I want to mention here is don't ignore school. Okay? So, uh, a lot of people have this thought that schools are useless. This is not true at all. If you talk about marks and scores, then your class 10th marks will be useful in future. Okay? When you later on do some things in life, your class 10th marks do count to some extent, right? So, you cannot you know skimp on that okay so don't ignore your schools don't be like you clear all kinds of olympiads but you fail in your school exam that should not happen okay that should not happen otherwise it's very bad okay so that's one thing apart from that the things that you learn in school are also important not just for your boards but also for your J. So for example a lot of people who come in class 11 don't even have a good foundation of J. As in they don't know basic stuff like trigonometry or uh, you know arithmetic and very simple things they algebra. They don't know very simple things okay which hampers their J prep. So one of the best ways and the simplest ways to do an early J foundation is to simply study your class 9, 10th and school books very well. Because most people they don't know their 9th and 10th material itself very well, right? So you should not be that guy, so don't ignore school. So if you are thinking that you know you will give 90% of your time to J prep and only 10-20% of your time to school, that is bad. Don't do that, okay? So that is going to be the first ground rule of deciding how much time you should give, okay? Second is that you should devote at least 20 to 30 percent of your time to J. Okay. Let's say you have extra time. Uh, let's say no. Let's say you go to school. Okay, and your school is for eight hours. Okay, in which we have included traveling, everything we have included. So you have around 14 hours of time, active time, right? Because rest is spent on sleep or on mindless activities. So now out of that 14 hours, eight hours is gone in your school, right? So how much are you left with? You're left with six hours. So now if you have six hours left, so in out of those six hours, you should try to spend at least two hours on a J prep, which is around this margin, one fourth or one third, right? You try to spend at least 1.5 to two hours on your J prep. The other time can go into your homework, playing time, and whatever it is. But at least two hours daily should be dedicated to your J prep. I wouldn't say that you should increase it too much because if you increase it too much, then your school performance will hamper, or your you know your the whole childhood enjoyment thing will be hampered. So I don't want you to devote too much time. And if you do devote too less time, that is also bad because uh, you should do at least some level of J prep early on, right? Because nowadays the competition is just too much. If you want to clear the exam, you need to devote at least some time. Okay. So this is another framework which you can follow. But the third thing is going to be more important. Okay. Use holidays. So the real preparation of any exam is done not during your uh, you know working days but during your off days so Sundays, holidays, summer break, winter break, Diwali break all of these things are there right and during those times you don't have to go to school and you usually don't have to go for coaching also and you also don't have much homework or things to do at your home right so during that time I think you can do a lot of this stuff because I remember whenever there was a, a you know summer vacation kind of a thing going on I used to have this goal that you know what summer vacation may these, 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 these books I have to complete these, these, these chapters I have to complete and since at the time there is no one to disturb you you can be fully engaged and complete your work very very fast okay so this is something I really urge you to consider that use your holidays and all very well because at this time you can give even your 100% to your J. Okay, you can give 100% to J. And also that 100% is very large because now you don't have school and coaching. So you can have like, I said now that there are 14 active hours in one day. 
uh, because rest of the hours are spent in sleeping and all other kinds of activities. So you can dedicate even 14 out of these 14 hours. I don't recommend it, but you can dedicate at least 8 to 10 hours if you're really serious. Okay. So that much time you can give in your holidays. So if you calculate these holidays, I think there are around 100 holidays in the year. So that is what? This is like 800 hours. Okay. And the other 265 days, even if you dedicate 2 hours, that is only like 530 hours. So these, this is much more than this, right? So most of the J prep will be done during your holidays. So utilize them really, really well. And if you need more help, get the J foundation course. Trust me, it is a bit expensive. I'll, I won't lie. It's a bit expensive. But it's a really good product as well. Okay. You will absolutely love it. And it will boost your J prep by like nothing else. Okay. Some of the students have said that does it contain the basics? It starts from the scratch. Okay. If you are in ninth, there are class 9 lectures also, if you are 10, there are class 10 lectures also. Everything is there from the beginning and we have taken you to a decent J level. Okay. If you are a more advanced student, we also have all content of Olympiads and everything is there. Okay. And if you need still more help, we are always ready to help you with some J content as well. If you need it and if you can prove that you have actually done this and you need it. Okay. So we will help you out a lot. Don't worry. We are not like other companies which you have course and then you forget. We will actually take care of you. So get it by 13th of June. Link is description. Link is given in description. On um, the Academy tab, you can download. You can go there, and there you will see J Foundation course. It's at a discount only till tomorrow. That is 13th of June, tomorrow night. So get it by then and use it. You will absolutely love it. Trust me on this. Okay, that will improve your uh, performance in any exam. Okay, in every exam, I, I should say. Okay. So I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching. Good luck.